Christy Ann Linder was born exactly five years after my husband and I were married. When the doctor came in to tell me about her condition before I ever saw her, I expected to see some sort of monster by the way he described her. But she was beautiful. In spite of her extreme low muscle tone and her other many problems, my husband said she looked like Cindy Lou Who from the story of the Grinch, and I agreed. Christy needed constant attention and therapy, but she stole the hearts of everyone she came in contact with, including her grandparents. Our daughter loved life and was a blast to experience new adventures with, like Disneyland. But Christy was vulnerable, very weak. Shortly after her third birthday, God took her home to heaven. What a treasure we had for three years. And in spite of all her problems, it was so evident that there was a person in there and that our loss was heaven's gain. When Christy was two years old, her brother Ricky was born. I have to tell you, when I was pregnant with Ricky, I often said, I feel like there's a bucking bronco in my stomach. And when Ricky was born, I found out why. He was a constant charge of never-ending energy. There was mischief from sun up to sundown. Ricky was a blast of sunshine, and we loved that. But sometimes we were too tired to appreciate this ray of sunshine. I suppose that if we had had Ricky diagnosed, he would have been thought of as ADHD. But guess what? Little hyperactive boys grow up, and once they slow down enough for us to catch a glimpse of them, we find ourselves thinking, wow, there was a person in there all along. When Bradley was born, he was swept away from my arms to a different hospital because there was a big problem. Brad began getting therapy right away. His dad and I were old pros at this. After all, we had done it all once before with Christy. Like Christy and Ricky, little Brad won our hearts. He won his brother's heart and all his family and friends. We all saw a spirit of patience and gentle strength in this little boy. This little boy who had to struggle so hard just to stay alive. Brad had 20 surgeries in his life and no one can ever remember him uttering a word of complaint. Many of his surgeries were long distance in San Diego, so we tried to make the best of a hard situation. You can imagine with his severe limitations, schooling was hard, but he pushed through the difficulties and ended up in college. That semester in college was his last adventure before God took him home at age 18. This was Brad's birth announcement. It's a fact. Our kids, yours and ours, every single one of them are fearfully and wonderfully made.